Hey YouTube, this is Drew Tech here to show you how to fix a multi-boot configuration with Ubuntu. So let's say you've installed Windows after installing Ubuntu, only to realize that your PC is only letting you boot into Windows. It's not giving you a Ubuntu option. Let me show you what I mean. So I've set up a virtual machine configured with Ubuntu and Windows, with Ubuntu installed first. So, as you can see, if I boot it up, that it's only giving me Windows. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. This solution will also fix your Grub bootloader if you somehow mess it up and your PC is not booting at all. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is plug in your Ubuntu installation media. I'm doing this in a virtual machine, but this would be the equivalent of plugging in your Ubuntu installation media. Then you're going to restart your system. and then get ready to press your boot menu key. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click on your Ubuntu install media. You're gonna click try Ubuntu without installing. Then you're gonna go to show applications. Then you're gonna open up terminal. Type sudo add apt repository ppa colon yann Ubuntu. By the way, I'll have all these commands in the description slash boot dash repair then hit enter then hit enter again then type sudo apt dash get install boot dash repair then hit enter then hit y hit enter then I'll go through and install boot repair. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. Okay, then once that's done, you're going to close out a terminal. Then you're going to go back to show applications. Then you're going to click on boot repair, and then just let it do its thing. And then once this pops up, you're going to click recommended repair. And then once this pops up, you're going to click no. Then you're going to close out of that. Then close out of that. And then you're going to reboot your system. And then as you can see, your do boot configuration is now fixed. However, you do have these extra options, which I'll show you how to remove. And then once you're at your Ubuntu desktop, you're going to click show applications. Then you're going to go to terminal. Then you're going to type sudo add apt repository ppa colon daniel rich -ter 2007 slash grub dash customizer by the way i'll have these commands in the description as well and hit enter and type in your password then hit enter <laughs> then you're going to type sudo apt dash get ins Install grub customizer, then hit enter, then hit Y, and hit enter, and it's going to go through install grub customizer. So this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. Okay, so then you're going to close out a terminal. Then you're going to open up grub customizer, enter your password. And then when this pops up, you're just going to look for all these extra options. There are probably going to be five. And you're going to click remove on all these extra options. But make absolutely sure that you only do it to these options right here. And not to anything under here, the advanced options for Ubuntu or the actual Windows Boot Manager, if you know what I mean. Or you're going to be screwed. So you're afraid that everything's okay. You're going to click save. <coughs> And then once that's done, you're going to close out of Grub Customizer. Then you're going to reboot, and then you'll see that these extra options are gone. And that is how you fix a multi-boot configuration with Ubuntu. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.